I want to lose weight, but I don't like running. So, who said you should be running? Don't tell me you listen to the media when they peddle that crap. First of all, you're never really going to build that much useful muscle running. It's not overly challenging for your body. And you're not increasing the load on your muscles to ask them to change that much. Look at the difference between long distance runners and short distance runners. Long distance runners are doing long runs, they're burning a lot of calories, but they're eating away at most of their muscle mass. Short distance runners are mostly doing strength training. They're burning a lot of calories, but they're building their muscle mass. And that reflects in how they look, their body shape, their definition. Think about it logically. What's going to burn more calories and shape your body better? Using most of your body to exercise or most using the same muscles in your legs to run. Now, I would advise an element of cross training even for long distance runners anyway, because you want to strengthen your body and maintain as much muscle as possible. But I will never be convinced that running doesn't cause you problems later on in life. Runners will be rolling their eyes at me now as I have the audacity to suggest that pounding away on tarmac pavements and roads may cause damage to your joints, etc. in the long run. And is the reward really worth that risk? And then there's the other factor. What most people are doing isn't really running. Really, most people are jogging or jogging. It might be a soft J. And how many calories are you going to burn doing that? How intense is that activity actually going to be? 45 minutes of jogging compared to 45 minutes of pretty intense weights training or strength training. I know which one my money is going to be on. And I know which one is going to increase the calorie burn afterwards too. Weight training is going to build that good muscle that is so important for body fat management. And a couple of times a week is not going to turn you into the Hulk. Here's a list of people who need to be running. People who want to compete in running competitions. People who need running as part of their sports. And even then... People who love running above everything else and people being chased. Now, unfortunately, when you look at the list of all the people who actually run, you can probably add the lazy, the uneducated, the fearful and the misinformed to that. Now, these may overlap. Now, let me explain before I'm set upon by enraged runners. I say lazy because... Running requires very little thought, very little planning, very little variety. It's much easier to go and run on a treadmill than plan out a weights workout with 8, 10, 12 different exercises every time. And the annoying thing is, there are often people who have knowledge or interest in the, in the health and fitness industry, but they would rather plod along with the tablet and the headphones on. I say uneducated because it requires that little thought and people who don't know about weight training or circuits or the human body or whatever, they're probably naturally going to gravitate towards the cardio machines. Um, you don't need to know much about them. They're pretty simple to use and they, they seem pretty safe. And you're convinced they're one of the best ways to burn calories. I say fearful because you look into that weights area at the gym and you're either intimidated by those big ogres grunting and shouting or you're worried about how to do the exercise or how to do them safely. I say misinformed because you listen to the media or you've read an article and you think running is the best thing to do because it's cheap and easy and it burns all those calories. The truth of it is, most people probably shouldn't be running, especially the overweight. 
it is absolutely not the best exercise to burn calories. Not the best exercise for weight loss. If you love or need running, then keep at it. Because the most important thing is doing something that is going to keep you going and training for what you're training for. But if you don't love it or need it, why are you doing it? You're not likely to keep it up. You're, you're going to tap out when the weather isn't great or you're not feeling it tonight. And the benefits are outweighed by the benefits of strength training, the, the increase in muscle mass, the increase in daily calorie burns, the increase in general strength and bone strength, the ability to operate better on a day-to-day -day basis and stave off injury. If you're not going to stick to something, you might as well not stick to strength training for the same amount of time you wouldn't stick to running. You'll benefit more and you might just notice and love the difference. Switch it up. Try out the weight machines and you might be surprised at the difference it makes to your body. It'll require a bit more thoughts. It'll require a bit more planning. Maybe seek out professional help. Go join classes. But it'll be worth it in the long run. Thanks for listening. Keep doing what you enjoy the most. And if you don't enjoy it, do what's best. Please don't hate me, runners. And I'll be back here next week.